Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is what I got for my 23rd birthday. I cannot believe that I'm 23. I know these videos always have a little disclaimer at the beginning of them. This is not a show you off video. I have not received anything that no one else can have. There's nothing here that is outrageous. There's nothing here that is in your face. There's nothing here to show off. Um, so please don't take this video as it is a show you off one because it's not at all. I really have enjoyed over the last I want to say like six months probably i've really liked watching these kind of videos i have only filmed one of these before and it was what i got for christmas which i'll link down below in case you like watching these kind of videos as well i'll link down below that video but i watched it back recently and i really enjoyed watching it back i liked to see kind of who got me what um it was really nice to see like looking back on it and i remember like the excitement of opening all the different things i just really enjoyed watching it back so i thought that because it was my birthday last week i would do a what i got for my 23rd i also did ask you guys on twitter i did a little poll so i kind of got the typical some money and vouchers i actually got um two different primark vouchers that i have put together and spent so maybe you can guess what next week's video is going to be but but apart from that the things that i can show you i'm going to start off with this which is honestly one of my favorite things this my cousin got me and she kind of made a bit of a thing about it because i think she ordered it online she said it was a jewelry dish which i think she thought was quite like a little almost like a little trinket dish a trinket trinklet what they called what and it's this which i really really like she just thought it looked like a bit of a plate but i really really like it on the front it says 1994 gs which is my initials and my date of birth like the year i was born um i really like this and i'm gonna pop this on my little desk over there it's one of my favorite things because it's personalized which i absolutely love so i'm gonna put all of my like day-to-day -day perfumes that i would use because i've got a little dish that in, sits in front of me now but it's kind of overflowing and i don't use every single perfume on there on a day-to-day -day basis they're just kind of either like a lot nicer ones or backup ones so i think i'm going to keep the perfumes that i like to use all the time on this on my little desk over there which i am excited to try but i think that's super super cute like and it matches with the scheme of my bedroom so that's the first little thing next another cousin of mine got me a h&m voucher i have not bought anything at h&m for a really long time i kind of just stuck to primark really but um i saw this bag and this was 19.99 and i absolutely love it they had it in a mustardy color as well which i was sort of i'm in an hour in between the two but this has got like a really nice texture to it but it is the kind of texture if you were to spill anything on it then it's kind of ruined so i need to look after this a lot but i really like the chain that's on it as well it's quite a long chain um, and I like the side bits on it, like the gold um, kind of hooked side bits on it. But I really love this bag. To me, this is just like a really elegant like going out bag. Um, inside, it's got, this is my handbag at the minute, so it's got all my bits in, but it's got two different sections to it. And I really, really like it. Like I'm really into grey at the minute, as you can probably tell from the background. But I really, really like this bag. And for 19.99, it is so affordable. And they did have it in other colours. They had it in a mustardy colour. And I think maybe in like a beige colour, I want to say. But that's that. Next is on to what my mum and dad got me. And everything, to be honest, is just like in a little gift bag down here. So it might be in like the wrong orders. But I asked for a pair of like kind of old fashioned pyjamas. I just always really wanted one. It's the pyjamas that my mum got me. If you can kind of see the style of them i'm not showing this very well but you can kind of see the style of it it's got like a pocket on the side these are from asos but they're new look pajamas so they're kind of like the old-fashioned typical pajama they're like a real nice sort of like pink white and like a really thin black line stripe which i really really like and they come with shorts rather than long trousers um but these are what the shorts look like ba -da -ba -da don't know what i'm doing i really really like these they're so comfortable they're like the silky kind of material they're exactly what i wanted so that's those next thing my mom and dad got me was a new tripod this is a manfrotto what even are you i haven't even opened it just a tripod with joystick head that's what it looks like the tripod that i'm using now the top of it broke um I can't remember how it broke but I didn't break it and that for a fact but the top of it has come a bit loose um so sometimes when I put my camera on it can kind of if I push it a little bit it can tip forward which isn't right so yeah my mum and dad got me this which is super super helpful I love presents like that that 
you want and are really helpful i've kind of got to that age now where i don't just want things and belongings i want things that i actually need so um yeah i got a tripod which i need to probably look into but it looks so much more substantial than this one so that's that my mom and dad also got me some of these which are the um fujifilm instax the polaroids for my camera which i got at christmas if you saw that video um my mom got me i want to say maybe three packs of these but i have used quite a few of them that's those mom and dad got me some more of those which are always really good also my mom and dad got me a little tripod for my car and um, this i have got one in my car but it's kind of it's one of the ones that if you have a tripod or if you have a youtube channel and you're watching this you might know what i'm on about it has like the sticky bit on it i'm so technical honestly it has the sticky bit on it this bit and um, that you put on like your window or on the top of your dashboard um but it has a really long bit on it that kind of is really good to bend around and get the perfect angle but it's really difficult sometimes because it shakes a lot so a lot of your footage can be really shaky if you see my vlogs then you might see that sometimes it goes a little bit shaky um so i asked for a new little like sturdier one for my car and i have actually bought one from primark with the voucher as well so i can have two on the go one's for my phone and i've been doing loads of time lapses on my um instagram story you probably notice um if you follow me over there but i just asked for another one it's this it's tiny which is really really good because it's not going to be that shaky and it comes with loads of different fittings on the end of it so you can put your phone on it put your camera on it different things like that probably like a gopro fitting as well so that's that and the last thing i think from my mom and dad was this which is the tom ford lipstick in the shade spanish pink i had bought this i just dropped it on the floor oh my god i got the exact same shade that i've had before lipsticks are just like my thing like i absolutely love them and it also has the little tf in the middle but i absolutely am obsessed with that and now i can use it now i film this video i can use it then a family friend of mine got me this which reminds me of the sanctuary spa packaging but this is calcott manor country spa retreat and this is the lazy evening sweet fig and camel luxurious bath essence this smells incredible like it smells so lovely oh it smells beautiful but that's just like a bath like bubble thing to put in your bath and this is a hand and body lotion which i really needed another body lotion because i'm all out um so that's those and then my aunt got me this which is kind of like a little thing my aunt always gets me this and if you see my christmas video you'll know that as well but um my aunt always gets me a bottle of Chanel perfume. She always gets me Chance. And I think it's the original one. It's the one that I love the most. And it's kind of like a thing between us. She wears Coco Mademoiselle one. And I have this one. But she bought me this. I think the first time she bought me was for like... I don't know if it was my 18th or my 21st. And it's just kind of, sort of become a bit of a thing. Um, so she always buys me a bottle of this for birthdays or Christmas. And it smells incredible like... I have missed you this is just my all-time favorite perfume i will quite happily pay to smell like this because it smells amazing so that's what my aunt got me she also got me a little jokey present as well which um was a bottle of it's actually here a bottle of ginger beer um which i've half drunk um because i had some at her house once and i really really liked it and i'm not into sort of like old-fashioned drinks like that but i really really liked it. it's from marks and spencers and i went to try and find it and i couldn't find it and i said to her like where is it i said i went down the aisle that it should be in and it wasn't there so she bought me one because i couldn't find it myself this is onto the thing that my brother got me which if you're not into football you won't find it interesting in the slightest but for me i am really into my football and it is super like oh my god to me if you didn't know i am an arsenal fan and my brother got me this which is just like it's so cool if you're an arsenal fan keep watching because you might not know that this exists my favourite player at Arsenal is Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and if you google him you will see why but this is a key ring and inside the key ring it's really really cool this is the key ring let me just get it out carefully um this is the key ring here and it's got the little Arsenal badge on it and inside the key ring is a bit of his shirt that he's worn um it says the match that he wore it in and the date and stuff and there's only 500 made out of whatever shirt it is and mine is number 213 but i didn't know this existed so inside the yellow bit there is the shirt 
Built the shirt. The first thing I did was I sniffed it. So cool, like, and on here it says, um, authentic match shirt from Alex Osso Chamberlain, West Ham versus Arsenal, December the 3rd, 2016. So it's fresh. <laughs> if you're an Arsenal fan or know someone who is, I don't know how expensive they are, obviously you didn't tell me, but it's such a good idea, like, so clever. So clever. So, um, yeah, that's that from my brother, which I really, really like. Then on to the last few things which Jay got me for my birthday, which he made me open um, in bed. I didn't open this in front of anyone else. Um, the first thing he got me was this, which is a sign for my little office slash studio. In case you didn't know, me and my mum between us, we have a business of making handmade, obviously making ourselves, handmade makeup bags. The brand is Gracie Saunderson bags some of you will have seen it on my instagram and also on this instagram the greatest ones and bags is and recently i have got myself a studio slash office i like to call it which is where they are all made and where they are all sent from and um i said it'd be really nice if i could have a little sign outside that said gracie swanson and bags and he got me one made which is really really cute i love that i love that so that's that and the last thing he got me which i was not expecting in the slightest was um this laptop bag and inside a laptop which honestly i was like what laptop is in my favorite color which is red it is a hp laptop i honestly know nothing about technology which i should do um my laptop that i obviously used before is about to go any day and the corner of it is all broken it's just not great it's just one of these laptops that constantly needs updating constantly goes wrong and you know one one day it's just gonna cut off and that's gonna be awful for me so um he got me a new laptop i honestly had no idea about it there was a time where it was very close to being leaked because he was talking to my mom i think about it and sent my mom a picture of it and um I almost saw the picture. I just saw a colour. I just, uh, which obviously I know now is red, but I just saw a colour and I was like, what even is that? Um, but he got me a new laptop. I love this laptop. If you're looking to get a new laptop, I keep saying laptop. <laughs> if you're looking to get a new one um, or looking at getting one at all, it, this is like really nice. The screen on it is like lovely. The keyboard is really big. I really, really like it. It's, compared to my other one, it's a lot lighter and it's kind of more compact, but doesn't feel small, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, he got me a new laptop, which I'm so grateful for. I'm just bending down to get the bag. Also the laptop bag he got me is a HP one. Um, I have never had a laptop bag before and it makes so much difference, especially if I'm, you know, between here and between his, um, I'm not worried about taking my laptop and traveling with me. So um, yeah that's the laptop bag definitely worth getting one this is nice and padded so that's that i think that that is everything that i got for my birthday i had a really nice birthday and i want to say thank you again to everyone who said happy birthday to me and also on last week's video because i mentioned it there as well so thank you very much to everyone who sent the birthday wishes i had a really nice uh, well not even a day it was the bank holiday weekend so i had a really nice weekend if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to see more videos from me all of my social media links are always down below in the description box as well so if you're on any of those platforms if you would like to follow me then please do i hope you're all having a lovely day and i will see you next week for another video